Fira has the pleasure to meet Mark Abini, who is a security professional, also known as fiber optic. How did you decide to become a hacker? Um, well, my, uh, my first experiences as, uh, as a hacker uh, were probably before I was a teenager. Uh, I was uh, simply interested in learning to program and learning uh, how to uh, write my own games, computer games. Um, this was uh, in the early 1980s and uh, from the uh, motivation to find people with similar interests, I discovered that there was uh, such a thing as a uh, computer underground, uh, hackers uh, and so on. Um, so it was something that happened uh, rather on its own. I uh, wasn't really uh, planning uh, for, for this to happen. I uh, was simply uh, seeking out people with uh, similar interests and uh, these people happened to be uh, hackers. What do you mean exactly for ethical hacking? Uh, ethical hacking most uh, generally refers to a code of behavior, a code of conduct. Um, if we're talking about uh, uh, entering into uh, systems or networks belonging to uh, large corporations, uh, naturally the ethics would be to uh, uh, not to interfere with, uh, with uh, the company's business, uh, not to cause any damage uh, to uh, the company's resources. Um, in the case of uh, of uh, ethical uh, research into uh, hacking and uh, the uh, defeating of security systems, uh, the ethics there certainly would be um, in uh, giving uh, software vendors uh, time to uh, res possibly to uh, respond to uh, security exploits having been discovered. So. Um, how can you how can you distinguish a hacker who is ethical and another one who is non-ethical? Well, I'd like to say the, pretty simply that an unethical hacker is simply someone who's acting uh, criminally. Um, one could even go further and say that uh, a hacker act, a hacker acting criminally simply is not a hacker. Um, by most people's definition, hackers and hacking. Uh, historically were ethical. Um, someone who chooses to use hacker tools uh, or hacker methods for the purposes of committing crimes uh, are by nature unethical. Why sh should I, as a business, contact you as a hacker? I see. Um, well, it's not just any hacker uh, who is actually uh, crossed over into uh, the professional security field. It takes a certain type of person, a certain type of responsibility. Um, there are many hackers simply who uh, don't want to deal with the corporate world uh, directly and never really make this transition uh, into uh, business. Um, however, uh, there are a great number of uh, hackers who have become successful security professionals. Um, in uh, a company seeking out such an individual, um, naturally uh, they would uh, want to uh, find someone who has a history of uh, having done similar work over a period of time uh, and not simply hire someone who uh, has uh, questionable credentials uh, and uh, questionable reputation. Um, so, uh, most people, uh, myself and people that I, I know of, uh, who have successfully made the transition uh, into being security professionals, uh, have acted uh, in uh, an ethical fashion for a number of years and have established uh, credentials and uh, a reputation uh, for um, quality and providing uh, uh, an unmatched service in that uh, hackers have a unique perspective on uh, the inner workings of operating systems and technology 
that uh, most people don't, and uh, this makes them a valuable resource, in my opinion, to large corporations. There are also hackers involved in helping governments to fight terrorism and improve international security. Do they have peculiar skills? Uh, in my experience, the, the people who have been referred to as hackers uh, actually are people trained in the use of hacker skills and hacker tools. I'm personally unaware of any traditional hackers who are actually working for governments. Um, I, ha I am aware of uh, quite a large amount of, of uh, hype and, and publicity. Um, for example, in the case of, uh, in the, uh, of the U.S. government, in claiming that hackers are being employed uh, for the purposes of uh, offensively attacking foreign nations uh, or possibly uh, defending uh, infrastructure against attacks. Um, the only evidence I've been able to uh, discover regarding this is um, our, our computer security professionals who have been contracted, uh, who have been trained in the use of hacker tools. Um, but they themselves uh, are not actually uh, hackers and never were underground hackers to speak of. Thank you. Thank you.